how to use Midjourney privately. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we will be taking a quick look at how you can use Midjourney privately. So what do I mean when I say privately and are you using Midjourney publicly right now? Well, the answer is yes. For Midjourney, if you actually go on ahead and take a look at their help and FAQ, you will find that anyone can actually access your images on Midjourney. So if you take a look at the explore page on Midjourney, you can see all of the different uh, images and these images are images created by other people. You can even see the prompts that they put in, what kind of uh, you know prompt is going to generate what kind of image and you can find all of that information. But if you are doing this for a very private project, a very special project, then you might not want your prompts to be out there or you might not even want your work to be out there yet. So for that, you do actually have to upgrade your account and you can go into your account and see your subscription plan. And it really doesn't matter what subscription plan you're on. You actually have to go on ahead and enable a privacy feature, which costs $20 a month. So you can see it's called stealth mode and stealth mode is, uh, you know, where your uh, images are not available to the public. Currently, if you're using um, Midjourney normally on any plan, your images are going to be available to the public and you have to subscribe to a pro plan to access stealth mode to prevent your images to be accessed by other people. So you actually have to go on ahead and enable that on your Midjourney account. So to do that, uh, I will show you guys later on how you can do that. But there is another question by people that get confused with this. What if you're talking about using Midjourney privately on your own server? You're fine with your images being out there, but you want to skip these server issues and have, you know, so many people working in one space. Instead of that, you want to just work separately. For that, that's totally easy and free to do. All you have to do is just go on ahead, click on add a server on your Discord and you can create your own server, name it whatever you want. Once you have like a separate server, what you're going to do is you're going to go into Midjourney, open up any kind of uh, server from Midjourney, any kind of uh, section. And from the right side, you can see the Midjourney bot. You want to click on this bot over here and click on add to server and select your own private server, whichever one you want, and it will be added to that server and you can privately work on your images on Midjourney. Now, once you have, you know, your separate server, you are just going to be working on it and you won't have to, you know, browse around and your images won't be going up from other users, so on and so forth. And it can be a easier way for you to access and work with your images. Now, if you go on to midjourney.com, make sure you go on to midjourney.com and log in over there. And from here, you can click on all and you can view all of the different images that you have created using Midjourney. You will be able to access all of them. And you can see these are public and anyone can access these images because I've used the public version of Midjourney. Now, if you want the stealth mode, all you have to do is go on to discord.com go into any channel, it doesn't matter, just type in slash and then you can type in private and then you can toggle the stealth mode. You can type in slash private and now you can see this, uh, my current membership plan doesn't have a private mode so I can just go on to this section over here and this will open up, you know, basically the uh, premium plans of mid journey. So you guys can see over here, you have 25 fast generations, all that, but you guys can see on the um, pro plan of mid journey starting at $48 or $50 if you're using monthly billing, you have stealth image generation. So uh, you can generate your images privately. Now, this used to be a feature on stand plan, I'm pretty sure, but I think after they have removed the uh, free trials, they've also removed the uh, stealth image generation simply because it's really not the kind of feature they want to provide to everyone because they want this to be uh, a platform where it's easier for people to generate art and find different kinds of prompts because the easier it is to use, the more people are likely to use it. So 
you guys can see there are so many different prompts available for free and uh you can upgrade your plan to uh create in stealth mode i do recommend it for people that are looking to create uh, a more sophisticated image that is for commercial use it might be for commercial use it might be for uh, a personal image or a personal memory that you're trying to recreate for those kinds of images stealth mode is a great option now you guys can see there are so many different prompts available but if you're still not certain about writing prompts and you can get a little confused you can use a ai like chat gpt to provide a detailed prompt you can just ask chat gpt to provide a detailed description of a image and then you just provide the kind of image you're looking to generate then it will provide a detailed description of that image and then it, you can ask the uh, mid journey bot so you can just go into mid journey type in slash imagine and then once you type in slash imagine you can copy paste the prompt that you get from uh, chat gpt into mid journey to create your image and this is an amazing way to simplify your prompts and to be able to create new and different images now that is all about privacy on mid journey i do think that it is a feature that they should provide uh regardless but it is a paid feature currently and it makes sense why it is a paid feature you can upgrade but it's very unlikely people are going to you know sort out your image or try to copy your image but if it's for a unique project if you're looking to really create something that is super professional and you don't want anyone to access it then you definitely should be looking into creating uh you know buying or moving your plan to the premium version which has the stealth mode for you if you don't you can't really blame other people later on you can't really claim you know copyright infringement or anything like that if you're using a free version of mid journey so keep that in mind when you're trying to generate images with mid journey i hope you guys have found this video helpful and you are now able to get started with mid journey and its different variations uh make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our youtube channel and check out our other videos as well i have a couple of videos on mid journey how to get started the different ways you can set it up and uh the different kinds of little life hacks that can help you in illustrating images with mid journey make sure to check those videos out and and make sure to share this video with a friend a relative and anyone that is trying to look uh, into mid journey share this video with them to help them out as well and check out our other videos on other ai platforms you can use a lot of different tips and tricks with chat gpt as well you can do a lot more with chat gpt rather than just generating paragraphs you can uh, optimize your seo you can uh create humanistic realistic uh, recipes write blog posts write articles thesis format according to api as well as create presentations so make sure to check those videos on chat gpt as well and if you have any questions or queries leave those in the comment box down below i would love to help you guys out and i will catch you guys in the next video